Okay, focus. Today we're just looking for a quick game, something quiet, nothing too crazy. So let's see how it goes. I'm gonna go ahead and do knight f3, and uh, from here we could get into the Kali, the London, or we could keep it with the king sitting attack. Let me just do pawn to d4, and then should we do the London? Nah. Let me just go ahead with the the lazy caravan. Now, those of you who are new, we're following this plan put together by the guy that I follow on YouTube. And uh, this is one of the openings that he recommended. Here, I'm going to try to keep it within what we talked about, just putting the pieces where they belong. From here, we get to the middle game, we just play chess. So the idea of doing knight b2 to do first is that when we do c4, if they accept it, we don't have to worry about getting the pawn back or anything like that, because we're going to have um, our knight there. Now, c4. Hmm. Should I just go e3? Yeah, let me just go e3, keep it cool. Then fianchetto the, the bishop on b2, and we get a very comfortable middle game. Mm -hmm. Take with the pawn, take with the knight. Let me take with the knight. And just like that, guys, remember, every time that pawns are moved, we're going to have changes, like say my open files, weak squares, and, and so on. So now I know my rook goes to the e file. For the black pieces, it goes to the C file. All right, I'm gonna go C4, claiming the center, taking advantage of this pin, why not? Okay, rookie one, getting away from this pin myself. And we are about to get hanging pawns, and we have talked about hanging pawns before. Let's see how we handle it. Like always, this is plenty of time, guys. No need to rush. Let's try to keep it quiet. We have the, the increment. Now the question is what to do with my queen. <laughs> well, time to go to f3. There we go. Rooks are connected. We're fully developed. Now we just play chess. All right, same diagonal. Well, that's a pin. Should we go c5? No, that's not safe. Okay, let me just go. Hmm. Let me just go a3, guys. Bishop before is not happening. Now let me go before just trying to do c5 remember this is not possible because the pawn is pinned so let's see if i can if i can get c5 in if i do c5 that's going to be a past protected pawn so let's do it and by the way if they take i think i'm gonna take with the b pawn because taking with the d pawn is gonna have them get a a pass pawn as well hmm. okay so let me just go queen d3 remember only 16 seconds but this is plenty of time and this is a pass pawn, so they're blocking it. This is gonna be a big concern for them. My knight looking for a weak square, my rook on a very good file. And I don't know about you, but I like, I like this position. Now they're just surviving. The same thing that I was doing in my games before. All right, just improving my pieces. Nothing too crazy, guys. They might, they might wanna do e5, we'll see. They might want to do a5. Hmm. Tactics in the air. My pieces are so active. Tactics in the air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. That's fine. Look, all of their pieces on the queen side. I might have something on the king side, guys. So bishop a6 is still in the air. Knight f6, queen h4. <laughs> Careful. Hmm. I missed checkmate. <laughs> I thought about it and I missed it. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Ah, I meant h4. This is just too bad, guys. This is just too bad. Ah. Oof. Yeah, this is just too bad. Now let's fix the pawn on e6. 
put pressure on it. Yeah. <laughs> All of my pawns on dark square, so the bishop cannot do anything, guys. Okay, give me that. And okay, it's a horrible game, but we got it and we made it to 1726. See you in game number 73.